Hello folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Eye of the Beholder for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, still can't believe I'm playing this. I'm your host, the Game of Darius, and let's prepare the best spells we can. Namely, Fireball. Well, I just came in here to re-prepare Fireballs. Just to ensure, by the way, Fireballs. Fireballs. Fiery Balls of Flamey Doom. That did not look particularly nice of a monster. Hey, die. Okay, okay. We can, we can do this. Got new weapons, got new armor, got new spells. Okay, mostly it's Olven that's been decked out in this new stuff, but... Bam. Yeah. Hit stuff. I really don't know how what the 25 damage that Ulbrich had did was not 25 damage. Like I'm looking at the HP he has now, which is you know, okay, well what uh, okay, 52, 25 damage. Should have at least easily nearly have killed Ulbrich. I don't understand how that worked. I ain't gonna complain, though. Because we won that fight fair and square, as far as I'm concerned. Come on, guys. It's one undead. It's one undead. Oh, my God. I suppose I should be a little bit more perturbed, but I, I guess I'm still riding the high of having killed Albrick with very little in the way of damage. Like, Landon was able to kill all of his undead minions. That opens something. Albrick was able to kill all the undead minions. Er... Yeah, what is that? Is that supposed to be a skeleton or a white? I mean, if it's a white, I'm a little bit more afraid. Stab it. Nice. I suppose I should go a few less combats without actually, you know, resting. Oh, she's got three... Yes! Eh. Can we just turn it? Okay. One of those things where I had to wonder whether or not we were able to just turn the sucker or not. Okay. Oh, crap it. Ah, that infernal vampire. Subhumans just don't know how to handle such power. No brain for tactics. No idea how to use their gifts. So now I have to deal with you myself. Pergeron agreed to test our defenses. I never thought the fodder he sent would make it this far. But you have done your job. No more relying on those inane kabolds. Even with some help, they fold too soon. Where is that look in your eyes? Do you not believe that the great Pergrenon paladin's son would do something so profitable? You are fools. The power of Xanathar is great, but the power of Bane is even more persuasive. I'll make sure to thank Pergrenon once I've disposed of you. He chose quite the test for our little plan. He and his lovely daughter have served us well. And so the truth is revealed. Oh. Eh, probably. Oh, Doom? No, not Doom. Doom is like minus two to all D20 based rolls that I would end up doing. I keep on forgetting to have Jaina, get some freaking goddamn. Wait. Eep. Don't know what would have happened if he would have hit me. Hopefully, not much. Uh. Landon, attack from afar because I don't want to get close to that. As a vampire, by the way. In, in, case, in case anyone didn't get the idea that he was, in fact, a vampire. He is, in fact, a vampire. So, let's test out my new spell. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, 
five, six. This, oh, crap it. All right, let's try it here. Bam. Okay. I'm apparently re un not remembering the range of fireballs correctly. It's a 30 foot radius. So it should be six, uh, six squares. Should. Being the operative word here. <gasps> Ow. I'll take your attack of opportunity. So that hopefully these actual, that flanking bonuses are actually a thing in this game. Come on. Uh. T take a long shaft to the face. No? That sounded dirty. Okay. I should be able to pull strength you? Yeah. This is the closest thing we're going to get to a barbarian rage in this game, so I might as well. Okay. Way too close in order for everyone to be hit with a fireball, so let's just hope this works. Awesome. Oven, strike! Dang it. Oh, come on, you guys. Come on! Both of you failed. Both of you failed. At least it was only like 19 damage. 19 is still quite a bit of damage when you're under level 7, but still. I gotta love how I'm completely derping on having Jaina do anything useful. And it's not like there is much she can do. 12. Damn. Good rolls. Good rolls. Alright. So, we know from this guy that there is something far more worse called Xanathar. And I'll come to think of it, Paragon did mention the word Xanathar when we had been sent down here in the first place. So, you know, he had the intention of us dying all along. That jackass. Let's, uh, heal a little bit more. There we go. You like acid? Apparently he didn't right care for it. Come on. Olven, buddy. Come on. Okay, at least one of you did it. He should nearly be dead. He's almost dead. That's that's never gonna hit. Longsword. Nope. Uh, bow. God damn it. Can I turn him? Okay, apparently he doesn't count as something that's turnable for the sake of turning it. Magic missile. Three, eight, ten damage. Man, I swear that the real MVP in this game is going to be the wizard almost hands down every single time. Oh yeah, that's one dead vampire. I'm presuming he's a vampire. <gasps> Longsword plus three. Okay, okay, okay. Ring of um half plane. I'll, I'll just give everything to him for now. What are these? Uh, those look sinister. That's for sure. Should I head back to the freaking dwarf camp? All right, uh, party inventory, no. Potions. There should be stuff I should be able to throw away, right? Yeah, okay, discard. Don't know why the hell I've been keeping all this crap. I've mostly been keeping it for the hopes that, oh, hey, if I go back up to the dwarves, I'll be able to sell them for something good. That's hardly the case. Alright. 
Now, what about you, Olven? You got some stuff you can trade with the ground, don't ya? I can also sell that trident. Alright. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. clunk. Bro clunk. Uh, let's keep the gauntlets for Talos because I think that's more AC. I suppose I, I don't know how the hell to identify this crap. Leather armor I can discard. Let's keep the ring of protection on him. There we go. And head on over to grow. Oh, I wanted to equip him with gauntlets. God damn. I remember stuff good. Boom. Longsword plus three. May Variable be one of the better weapons in the game. Half plate. So this is going to be super heavy on Groconk, and he's going to reduce his speed significantly. But I think the trade-out with the armor is going to make up for that. Don't, you know... Do the whole quote me on that thing. Alright. AC 21, 20, 24. Now, what did he have before? Yeah, it was the scale mail, right? Man. Alright. Um, first off, I think I also have derped on what Talos can prepare. Uh, let's get some cure. Yep, m more cure. Yeah, he's got three of these. So, cure, cure, and bull strength. Ah, here are fourth level, or third level spells. We can cure serious, which is probably a good idea to prepare one. Um, just more pure serious, I guess. Oh, and before I forget, Landon. Give some arrows to Jaina. But was that it? Was, do you have any more? Arrows. Jaina. Egypt. Arrows. Oh. Balls. I had meant to just... Okay. I swear I had so honestly just meant to have it so as... We gain some more arrows for them, but... You know, this this is cool. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, ah. Alright, turn on dead. So at the least we know that skeletons are absolutely no problem when it comes to these fights anymore. Spells prepared, found some arrows. Awesome, sawsome. Not so awesome sawsome is that I'm now on level 7. Which I believe is going to... Oh, yep, yeah, mm, look at that giant spider insignia. <sighs> this place is going to be... Fill to the brim with drow. Nothing but drow. Uh, I'm going to want to cast on you. Dang it. So, I'm not sure exactly how they're portrayed in... Good on you, Landon. Good on you. Making up for those times where you royally screwed up. Anyways, where was I? Oh, yeah. I'm going to try Fireball. So, let's see. Did they switch it to only a 20-foot radius? No, that was 25. That hurt. But hey, at least... Oh, no. 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 
don't even please I really would rather not have to make the trek all the way back up to the dwarves mm. Landon murder it please oh come on oh all my anger all my hate every ounce of my rage I don't even care that I wasted the last two magic missiles on that guy. <sighs> How somewhat poetic that the last enemy that I just that the next enemy I decide to face freaking drow are all like, oh hey. Burr, 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 burr. I suppose I do have that last uh direction up here with which to Explore as well, but man. Oh, shut your stupid screaming. Wrong direction again. Okay, I just need to go. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. I'm a little miffed. Okay. This should be the optimum space to hit them with. Make up your mind, game. How, why, what? I don't know what you want from me anymore. It's like, do, do you want me to, do you want me to possibly succeed? Ah. <sighs> Just murder it. Wait, which one of these doesn't have a shield? Okay, they both have shields. I found that that is how you apparently identify the one that can cast whole person on a person. I'm, I'm gonna murder you with the magic missile. God damn it, I just won against the vampire. I ain't even gonna bother with that treasure. Actually, why the well, why the hell was there a new group of Koatoa right there? I'd cleared out this place. Thought I did, anyways. Dang it! <sighs> this map's a little annoying. <laughs> what about probably would have been a nice inclusion if not a little bit. Uh, If not a little bit annoying, is having some sort of mini map. But I suppose that would have been a little less dungeon dungeon crawly and more, you know, hey, you haven't been this way yet. Why don't you go that way? Yeah, you guys are. You and your soulless freaking everything. Heals, restores decks. I mean, okay. Is there anything else you can heal here? Condition restored. I don't know what the guy was on about, but hey, I'm restored. Hopefully, I will be able to handle more drow without the, you know, what am I talking about? They're the drow. Sure, okay. They're drow. They're played dirty. Like only one in all of drow history has ever been a quote unquote good guy. Just because you're a bad guy does not mean you are a bad guy. Oh, no, 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 no. Except when it comes to the drow. Can I, do I get experience for disabling these or is there even a point? Don't know, don't care. Rather not be hit with uh, whatever the hell it was supposed to be there. 
Ah, it was a secret. What does it say? Jail room. I already see where this is going to go. You know what? Part of me don't care. Did I just make a bunch of... Okay. That was weird. Uh... Aha! Uh -huh. No? No, that... That seems to have done nothing. Oh, that's opening those ones out there? Alright. No. I have no clue what's going on with this chamber. Oh, wait. That opened up a little thing over here. You're a drow. I'm a cordia illustin of the house Gerard God damn fancy names. No wonder I called freaking my seventh saga character Chad. Most because one asked me to. And I thank you for opening that infernal door. I've been here, only been here a few days, but I'm already sick of this place. Four days passed. You and I would have been sworn enemies. But last things change. I mistakenly voiced my opinions of the drow working with the vile Xanathar, to who I thought was an ally. Within a day, I was traded to the Koatoa here. They threw me in the cell, and I have been here ever since. The drow be below are no longer my family, and while neither are you, I am forever in your debt. May I join you in your fight against the monster that destroyed my family, the creature known as Xanathar? I mean, sure, I'll add you to the roster. I ain't probably ever going to use you. Okay. So... That one closes that one. What if I did that one? What, is, what door is that opening? There's a door somewhere that is apparently... That has been opening with. Oh, okay. I see. Yep, okay. That's just opening and closing the door that uh, had been closed inside. Okay. So the trick to this is apparently that this switch over here hides this switch. Which I, when I activate this witch, okay. While well, that switch is up, this switch is down. I don't know. So what's this one do then? Seems stuck. Yeah, this this switch just seems stuck. I'm glad someone found that funny. Alright. Um That's everything here, so I guess I'll at the least go back to the door that leads back to the drow. And call it an episode there, cause I don't feel particularly like watching characters die one after another again. At least not at this moment. I'll deal with it at another time. Anyways, quick rest. There we go. So yeah, when we return, more drow murder. Or maybe more murder on behalf of the drow. Who knows? If they keep on casting whole person, I might just go insane. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Cheers.